my dears and welcome back to my corner of the internet. I'm Shannon. This back here, that's Bernard. He's my October co-host. You know the drill by now. Today I've got a tea talk video to share with you guys. I've got my Libra mug. I don't know if you can see that, but it says, it's got the scales, which of course very Libra, and then above the top it has Libra written there. My dog is to the right, sneezing. <laughs> anyway, today in my mug, I've got um, a really, really delicious a really really delicious chamomile tea from the brand tea pigs I don't know much about this brand except their teas are so good they're all kind of herbal teas caffeine free stuff like that and um, the only place I've seen this is at shoppers drug Mart. So if you're Canadian you can check it out there they have all different kinds they have a really good mint one anyway it says what's special about this tea most chamomile teas are made by crushing the flowers not a nice thing to do. The best chamomile tea comes from brewing the whole flower, which is exactly what we do. So, and there on the front there does say chamomile flower herbal tea. And it's just, it's delicious. Today I have a few things I want to talk to you guys about. A few things YouTube related, a few things book and entertainment related, and a couple things kind of makeup related, because even though I've moved this channel away from makeup related content, I'm still a major makeup lover. So I thought it would be fun to kind of be able to still talk about sort of makeup content and just kind of keep it in the tea talk videos if there's anything to talk about. And the main thing I wanted to talk about in regards to that today was this past week, did you guys see, if you watch Tati, who I love, she put up her, it was like a three minute video, a kind of sneak peek, get ready for the launch of her Tati Beauty. So of course, months ago or even a year ago at this point, she put out Halo Beauty, which was her vitamins. And at that time, everyone was kind of um, surprised and disappointed that it was vitamins and not cosmetics. And she has released the teaser for her palette stunning and it looks like it has so many gorgeous glitters and you girls know hey guys but you guys know if you've been around here for a while I am glitter obsessed especially on the eyes and I can't wait I think that launches 25th of October also you guys have you been watching the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star series called I think the beautiful life of Jeffree Star the fourth episode just went up they have been this this has been so fascinating to watch it's kind of the um, build up to the release of the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star collection which is coming out it's going to be uh, one big palette, one small palette, six liquid lips. That's all I've seen so far. I don't know if there's going to be any highlighters or anything like that coming along with it. But again, if you've been around for a while, you know how much I love Shane. Shane's just one of those creators that has been around forever, constantly growing and changing and evolving. And it's just been really exciting to see this side of him kind of emerging. And one thing that's been really interesting too is if you are interested in makeup and the business side of things, it's been fascinating seeing how something goes from the idea stage to the final stage, how the colors are chosen, how the names are given, the kind of numbers that we're looking at in terms of how much it costs to make a palette versus how much it's sold for and just all kinds of really interesting information that if you're a lover of beauty and makeup you probably didn't know before so i would definitely recommend checking out that series it's long every episode like i said there's been four episodes so far they're about an hour long i would say though that you can probably skip the first one especially if you're familiar at all with shane and jeffrey because it's kind of just a setup episode but it's an hour so if you if you know enough you can skip that and then it really gets into the exciting things and the more business side of things and it's really really interesting and that shane's collection i believe launches on november 1st so that's two big launches coming up in the next couple of weeks and yeah tati's looks gorgeous so cheers to some really exciting makeup releases coming up <laughs> thing that is kind of beauty 
related and speaking of vitamins is a few months ago when I was still doing a lot of beauty related content on this channel a company reached out and they wanted to send me their hair skin and nails vitamins and this is the heartbreaker gummies um, vitamin complex hair skin and nails and it features bi biotin folic acid and vitamin A from what I could tell the heartbreaker gummies are made by the same company that makes the Duval spin care facial brush which I loved so I was like, yeah, sure, send them along. Um, now I wanted to make sure I was using them enough before I gave my um, review. And I have been now, I've been using them for weeks and I'm almost done with this bottle. And I've really enjoyed them. First of all, they taste fantastic. They kind of taste like strawberry milkshake almost, just so delicious. Uh, somebody should make a candy that tastes like this because it'd be fantastic. Um, anyway, I've noticed my skin looks pretty good. Um, I had, I've had over here a kind of recurring situation happening with like a little cluster and that's down now and has stayed down for the longest that it has in a while. So maybe that's related to that. Maybe it isn't, but that's one thing that has happened while I've been taking them. My nails are nice and strong and long, but they were before that too. So I don't want to, I don't want to give it undue credit. Like I don't want to give it credit where it's not due because I don't know, but um, yeah, I can definitely say that that cluster has been down and has stayed down longer than it has in a while. So if you were interested, I will put, I've got a link that you can go to if you want to check these out for yourself, give them a try. Um, these come with 60 pieces. So one bottle is a month's worth. And um, yeah, I would definitely, I think I would reconsider purchasing them when I'm out. Um, now I've never bought a hair skin and nails vitamin before so I don't know if the price is I'd have to check out the price of other ones as well but um, those were good and they taste fantastic <laughs> so cheers to that <laughs> to start the book for this coming book talk and it's called Haunted Canada and it's a collection of short ghost stories allegedly true ones from around Canada so I think for this book talk coming up I'm going to uh, maybe tell you about a couple of the ones that I found to be the spookiest I think that might be fun because that's gonna be the last book talk before Halloween I feel like October went so fast and yeah we only have one book talk left this month so I think it's going to be on that. Anyway, I just wanted to mention a couple of other sort of entertainment-y type things that we've been enjoying and see if you guys want reviews on them. This weekend, two new um, series went up. One was on Prime and one was on um, Netflix. And they're both half-hour shows. Really entertaining, really interesting. The one on Amazon Prime is called Modern Love. And that one is a collection of kind of standalone stories related to um, love stories. And it's actually kind of a collaboration with the New York Times because in their paper they have, uh, from what I was told <laughs> by the show, they have a column in there called Modern Love. And these are all true stories based on some of the stories that were told in that column and um really really interesting really good really touching uh, more than a few will make you cry or at least did to me and uh yeah just beautiful stories and there's a lot of big names in the stories too like Anne Hathaway, Catherine Keener, um Andy Garcia I haven't seen or heard about Andy Garcia in so many years and he was such a big star in the 90s he's so handsome and uh, it was, you know, it's nice to hear his name again. <laughs> and yeah, just tons of stars. And I think you would really like it. So if you would like a review of that, let me know. That's called Modern Love. The other one is on Netflix, a show called uh, Living With Yourself went up and it stars Paul Rudd and also another Paul Rudd. <laughs> And that was very entertaining. We actually just finished that before I started filming this and um, it's a wild story. 
with two Paul Rudds, you can't go wrong. No matter how many Paul Rudds, there's no such thing as too many Paul Rudds. So if you would like a review on that, let me know as well. Let me know if you want a review of one of them, of both of them, whatever you like. I am always open to suggestions, so cheers to that. <laughs> I think that is going to do it for me for today. I've got a bunch of videos coming up this week. We have a paranormal one, that book talk. I'm going to throw in a review as well, hopefully. So let me know. Let me know which one you're most interested in seeing reviewed of those two shows, and I will get on it. And yeah, that's going to do it. So I hope you had a fantastic weekend and that your week is off to a great start. Um, and you're not having, you know, a terrible case of the Mondays. <laughs> and I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye.